Howdy. Let's start off here. That's my YouTube channel. And here we have playlists. And I have been talking about mountain water, wide rivers and glaciers quite many times. I made 348 videos, I think, until now at least, to this list. And now, on or in the newest issue of the NCGT journal, I will put a link below to this. You can click on that and download, download the PDF. Which looks like that. And that's the journal. And here we have the mountain water paper. Editorial. The issue of the journal seems to have moved into a more philosophical area with the lead paper focusing on the archaeology of time and its contribution to the foundations of physics. The second paper by Solviev et al. follows on from their previous foray into frequency resonance theory in the exploration for subcrustal emissions causing crustal surface effects from mantle degassing. James Maxlow continues updating Earth expansion theory, this time by suggesting that plate tectonic theory is incomplete as, it, it's, as its proponents tended to ignore more recent data and that those data are better explained by Earth expansion. V and L. Gordienko continue their interest in geophysical study of the mantle processes that could explain existing mantle gravitational anomalies. Finally, reader S. Ahmara, me, with some editorial assistance, thank you Bruce, describe the electric role of water on the Earth's crust. One novel idea is that surface water, whether as deep artesian groundwater or recycled water as rain, might be interpreted as a liquid crystal. This is not as outrageous as it seems, since the work by Pollack demonstrates that water does transform itself into a liquid crystal from electric charge separation caused by the incidence of infrared radiation in hydrophilic environments. As moving electric charges and nothing other than electricity, then moving water could possibly, could quite possibly be also imagined as an electric current and thus as a plasma. If so, then the art of water dowsing becomes explicable. I have personal experience of this effect during the grassroots exploration of the Yiliri uranium deposit in northeastern gold fields of Western Australia. When I asked to locate a potable water source using a suitable drilling machine, Initially, we choose a likely location and only encounter dry holes, as we, we had a limited budget. The driller finally asked whether I could douse. I replied, I would try it, and found a suitable length of a wire, shaved it into an L-shape and started exploring by walking around predetermined exploratory rocks. The dowsing wire reacted at one location and we moved the machine to the dowsing anomaly and successfully encountered groundwater at a few meters of depth. Dowsing could thus be explained as moving an electric conductor, the wire, through a local magnetic field where it reacts to the weak Lorentz force generated by the motion. No motion, no Lorentz force. Thus, no dowsing anomaly. Not so much of an electric as a plasma universe. Food for thought, indeed. Louis Hissing, editor. So now if we go down... I think it's page 77 or 78. Mountain water, a new approach to, approach to mountain forming volcanism glaciers and the role of water in the electric environment, A3 anomalies. Now let's just go through the abstract quickly. People settle near water. Almost all life forms need water. Water is very important for life on Earth. Consensus theory explains the article of water through evaporation, precipitation and accumulation. Meteorologists don't know much about volcanoes. Volcanologists don't know much about weather. This is how modern science works. Specialists for every small diversification of whatever science branch. How could anyone within that paradigm ever get a holistic picture of the whole? It is full of contradictions, misinterpreted results, and it also seems to keep certain mysteries alive. 
most of them could be more easily understood just by not being ignorant towards knowledge from laboratory experiments and peer-reviewed papers made decades ago. This paper is a thought-provoking new approach to the formation and activities of the Alps and many of its features as a part of the greater environment. It also is meant as a serious warning for millions of people living in the Alps region, which spans from the North Sea down to the Mediterranean Sea and from the Black Sea to the Atlantic. Massive changes in the environment have been taking place in the past, and it is crucial to understand that we are dealing with cyclical events. They are recurrent and will happen again in the future. So that's the very first picture of my paper. Yeah, something big went down in the past. Yeah, you can have a read at this. I really recommend you the first paper of this. The lead paper. I'm not yet really through that. Archaeology of the concept of time in the ancient Western, Eastern and Far Eastern cultures. The foundations of physics. That's a very interesting paper. But anyway, I will leave a link below. Now I have a paper I can refer to, and I have the playlist with more than 300 videos about mountain water, white rivers, crypto geysers, and all other stuff related to that. Yes. Thank you. Bye.